Hi, I'm Jacob with Saracenia Northwest, and this is your carnivorous plant care guide for June 2023. For most of the country, summer is already here. In the Pacific Northwest, we're experiencing typical spring weather at the start of June. Day temperature is in the lower 70s, the sky is partly sunny, and there is less rain in the forecast. The outdoor perennials are perking up. Many of the early season plants are really taking off and producing their best pitches this month. These include Saracenia flava, Oreophylla, and their hybrids. Many varieties are already developing some wonderful colors. These include Flava atropoporea, Rubricopora, and Ornata. If you want to add one of these fine plants to your collection, visit our website at growcarnivorousplants.com to see these and other Saracenia in stock. Some of these plants, such as Extreme Green, get up to three feet tall. The late season plants generally have shorter and thinner pitches in spring. These include Saracenia leucophila, alata, and minor. They like hot weather, so they produce their best pitches in late summer, a few months from now. Saracenia flowers are blooming, so now is a great time to hand pollinate them if you want to grow your own plants from seeds. If you want to see a video on how to hand pollinate Saracenia flowers, check the description below for a link. The other option is to let bees do the job for you, which is what we did for a batch of open pollinated plants. These are Saracenia purpurea and rosea that we grew from seed. Check the website for new seedlings in stock. Now that the weather is warmer, fly traps are producing more traps, primed and ready to catch summertime insects. Here's our red dragon in a pumice rock. It didn't look like much during winter when it was dormant, but it sure is looking great now that summer is just around the corner. Hardy sundews are growing lots of leaves and catching insects. Darlingtonia is also waking up from dormancy and they will have their first open pitchers by the end of the month. Pitchers from last season will gradually turn brown and dry up. In time, the plant will be flush with new growth. To care for your outdoor perennials, make sure they're getting lots of direct sunlight. Some Saracenia, such as the red forms of Saracenia flava, require 10 or more hours of direct sunlight to maintain their rich red colors. Most, however, are quite happy with at least six hours of direct sun. The same is true for Venus flytraps. With warm weather approaching, water will evaporate more quickly, so pay attention to water levels. Keep the soil wet at all times by setting your plants in trays of water. If you have a pond, that will work too. Just make sure to use low mineral water. Summer is also mosquito season, so make sure to use mosquito dunks to keep these critters at bay. Watch our video on mosquito dunks for more information. You can find the link in the description below. In the tropical greenhouse, we partially opened up a wall that separated the Nepenthe side from the Sundu side. This will create a more even flow of air when the exhaust fans are on and reduce hot spots in the greenhouse. Combine this with the 40% shade cloth and misting fan, the temperature in here will be no higher than outside temperature. Our tropical plants are growing nicely this spring. Some of our Nepenthes are producing very large pitchers. We have a few that are large enough to capture mice, and one of our plants actually captured a mouse a couple of years ago. Overall, our Nepenthes are putting on a spectacular show this spring. We are also releasing established cuttings of some of our mother plants. Some of these plants we're releasing for the first time, so check the website to see what's currently in stock. The tropical sundews and butterworts are appreciating the mild sunny weather that spring has to offer. Sundews are growing fast with lots of dew. Butterworts that had gone dormant this past winter are producing larger leaves and they'll develop some nice colors in time. With all of your tropical plants, make sure they're getting the appropriate sunlight. Nepenthe is like a few hours of direct sun, but watch for leaf burn. There isn't a blanket rule about how much sunlight to give Nepenthes. Some Nepenthes prefer lots of sun. These include Falcon, Sanguinea, and Albo marginata. Other Nepenthes prefer less sun, and these include plants like Ampularia, Regliana, and Ventricosa. So part of growing Nepenthes is paying attention to how they're growing and moving them to an appropriate location if necessary. The same is true with sundews and butterworts. Some like a lot of sun, others only a little. So pay attention to how your plants are growing as we get closer to summer. Regardless of the plant, make sure the soil is sufficiently moist. With Nepenthes and butterworts, water from the top and allow the water to drain through completely. 
With sundews, let them sit in a small amount of water. Always make sure that the soil of your tropical plants never dries out. If you're in the Portland area, come visit the nursery. We will have an open house coming up later in June. We will also be open for three weekends in July and one weekend in September. Reservations are required and space is limited. Visit the events page to sign up. And while you're on the website, check our latest offerings of outdoor perennials and tropical plants. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in another video.